Hello and welcome back. Last time, we were in Orzmar and we found out about Sten's sword. We then found that he lost it in Lake Kalnhad. So we went to Lake Kalnhad, who had sold it to someone who was in Orzmar. So we went to Orzmar, and then we found out that the person Orzmar had sold it to a dwarf called Dwen, who's in Redcliffe. And now we're going to now we're at Redcliffe, and we're going to find out what's going on here and find the dwarf. Yes, because this is more important than the blight. I'll start. I think you can go first here. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Is there a problem? So you, you don't know. Has nobody out there heard? Um, I heard that Arleman is sick, if that's what you mean. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes. It's not far. If you'll come with me. Okay. Can do. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Hmm. Your nephew? I refer to Caelan, of course. Oh, Our sister yes, was Queen course. Rowan, King Merrick's wife and Caelan's mother, make her rest her soul. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. So... What are these evil things? Are they darkspawn, demons... Please say it's not blood mages. We had a little bit of a problem with those. Some call them the walking dead. Decomposing corpses returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Kaelin dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Hmm. Um, of course we'll help. Yeah, we do kinda need to speak to the Arl at some point, so I suppose him not dying to Walking Dead, if he's still able to be he's gravely ill, he can still talk to us. We don't need him to fight, we just need his armies. 
There are no dark spawn here and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. What would you have us do instead? Leave. Leave? And what about our plan to get Arleman's help? The plan was never to come and defend this village. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. It would be interest. I don't know what would happen if you'd let your right we should go. It seems really odd. Never had this particular conversation come up. I do want to try and rescue the Arl. But yeah. You, you kind of make the point that we didn't sign up to defend the village, but. Well, I suppose we are going to help the Arl, and this will at least keep Alistair in check, so. Yes, let's try and persuade Sten to our way of thinking. Perhaps. How pointless to help these Morgan. villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. I swear Thank to you. God. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Yeah, I want to discuss it with you, though. Of course. Um, you have some of his knights here, like the ones who were off searching for that urn. I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Their search for the urn of sacred ashes? Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Hmm. So, why are we in Chantry? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Hmm. Do you need more men in here with you? We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Okay. So, you call them the Walking Dead. Can you be more specific? I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead? Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing, none of them pleasant. So what happens after this battle is it? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. Hmm. And reward? Eamon would be in a better position to reward you, to be honest. Okay. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. So, Morgan disproved, Stan approves, quest updated, so we got Village Under Siege, and Codex updated for the Arl's Wife. Okay. Um, let's have a quick word with Stan here. Maybe we can see if he'll tell us what he was talking about. You called. Let's discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. Then oh. I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. Oh, we finally have something to ask him. Do you find Freldon very strange? To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Our farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Hmm. Is there anything you like about Freldon? There is... interesting food here. You have a thing. It doesn't have a word in the Kunari tongue. Little baked things, like bread, but sweet and crumbly. Cookies? Yes. We have no such things in our lands. This should be remedied. Don't Quinaria want to change their lot in life? What does that accomplish? The farmer who buys a shop is never a merchant. He is always a farmer turned merchant. He carries his old life with him as a turtle carries its shell. 
Maybe he was meant to be a merchant. Meant by whom? And if that were indeed his purpose, why did that mysterious source of meaning not make him so to begin with? Hmm. Do you think birth, uh, birth should determine your destiny? <laughs> destiny? Destiny is superstitious nonsense. Life is not a journey that ends with you arriving or not arriving at the proper destination. Life is what you do. Life is the duties you fulfill. Hmm. Don't you think happiness is important? You can learn to find it in doing your duty, in serving your people. There is no need to search for it. Shall we move on? You sound a bit homesick. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. Hmm. You left out rotten garbage. True. I was trying to forget that part. Shall we move on? Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. Okay, so we got to know a little bit more about Stan. I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be alright. I want to go home. Where is Father? Why can't we go home? I already told you. Father is outside defending the village from the bad men. We must stay here and be brave. Can you do that? I... I guess so. Okay. Irina. Yes? Would someone like to handle this for me? I'm sorry, but your husband has fallen in battle. You have my condolences. Why? What did he do to deserve this? Quest updated. I've done all the condolences. Well, Alistair has. It's probably best he did. Oh, Jetta! We were meant to look for her. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Would somebody like to handle this for me? No? Okay. I am. You've heard of me? Um, I have something here from your husband. Oh? Oh, his lockbox. If you're bringing me this... Oh no, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot to make his blessings upon you. Quest completed. We delivered the lock box to Jetta, as was Rigby's final wish. Reward? These are terrible times. Just terrible. Yes, you're quite right. We didn't even get a reward. Okay, hello, Caitlin. I'm so scared, Father. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? But night is coming. The monsters will return, and we sit here and wait for them. We have no choice. We must pray and hope for the Maker's compassion. I just hope everything will be all right. So many have already died. Hmm. Hello, Caitlin. Sorry, am I bothering you? I'll I'll try to be more quiet. Yeah, you're not bothering me. I shouldn't be such a crybaby. With mother gone now, I have to be brave. I just, I can't help myself. I'm so frightened. Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Why would he run off? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. If he has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. You should get used to that fact. Nice. Maybe you want to kick her in the head while you're at it. Shall we comfort her with lies? 
If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. Okay. What would you give to find him? I I have nothing. Everything we owned is in our house. If you found my brother, I would be eternally grateful. Oh, please, couldn't you look for him? I'm begging you. Just how grateful are we talking about here? I would do anything, sir. If you found Bevan, I would. Okay. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Okay, maybe she'll have some money for us when we have her brother. Is there more to this church or is this it? Oh, there's a tiny bit back here. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Let's just interrupt Let this. You are of elven blood and a stranger, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Hmm. I have my own reasons for being here. Which doesn't include protecting innocence. Regardless, I am grateful the Maker brought you to us. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? How safe is Chantry? It is the sturdiest building in the village. The women, elderly, and children will stay here during the battle, while the militia and knights protect them. They set up a barricade outside the Chantry to keep monsters from getting inside. If anything gets in, Van Tegan is our only defense. Please, have mercy. Help these people. Do whatever you can. I should go. May the Maker watch over you, child. Okay. Uh, nothing over there. Could we not pile these up at the doorway and create some kind of barricades? Hmm. Guess not. Okay, so we got a militia here. What is that smell? Fish? And something else. Oh, more fish. Okay, Alistair. No, we don't have the men we need. And their numbers just keep growing each night. Well, sure, they take the dead and they, you know. I don't want to think about that. I guess this might be the last night after all. The king is coming. Nobody is. So what can we do? Leave? Try to get out of the village? And abandon everyone? No, we fight. There's no other choice. Okay. Still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? And hope for a miracle. Hello, Murdoch. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. You have the best mustache I have seen in a while. But yes, uh, you heard wrong. So you say. A damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. That much is clear. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Hmm. You seem rather calm. My men are certain enough as it is that they'll die tonight. They don't need me quivering in my boots. My death will come soon enough. It don't need me hurrying it along. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. Um, what can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Hmm. Why does Owen refuse to talk to? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. 
He said he'd rather die first. Hmm. Nobody else can do those repairs? Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? Well, some people, you know. Anything else you need? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help Dwin. a lot. But he flat out refuses. Tell me about Dwin. He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Let's discuss something else. Then we'll call and see Dwin. Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? Go talk Don't to him. Don't drink with him. That's how he sucks you in. Just my luck, our success hinges on the most foolish drunk of a smith ever to grace the Maker's lands. Okay, so... There's the blacksmithy, but we're not going there. We're going to go find Dwin. Is he over here? Caitlin's Hope. Well, we're going to look for her brother. Caitlin's brother... Hello? Go away. This isn't your home. A small human. I say burn it out. Ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. What were you doing in there? I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? You could. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took Mother. Where's the sword? In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. Hand it over. I... All right. Here. I guess I should go back to the Chantry. Please, be careful with Grandfather's sword. And now we have our report. The green blade. Ooh, that is a nice looking sword. Let's uh, save the game and then see how it looks. So, it is a one handed sword which does nine damage. So, yeah, it is by far better than what we're using. Or enough the dead girls. We're now using Green Blade. We'll do a lot more damage. I don't know whether this had a strength. This has a higher strength modifier. But I don't know what real difference that would make for me. I guess it's still better to have a higher strength modifier. And yeah, it also has it has less armor penetration. Interesting. We're gonna use it. How's this? It looks kind of cool. We can put some kind of enchant on it. You know, replacing something we got in load the ring is probably a good idea. Is that a book? Book. Legend of Callanhad. That was the person who was with Flemeth, or who Flemeth married, and something, something. General store. Let's uh, have a quick look at our map. We don't want to go to Dwin's Smithy. Let's go to the general store first then. Oh, there's Dwin's home. We need to go to the store. Hello, anybody here? 
and so I shall. Barrel. It was oil lamp. It was oil barrel. Find some use for barrels of oil. Okay. Well, you can do that. There's a lot of room out here. Oh, a barrel. Iron ring. Shiny ball. What's this? Lake Calm had no swimming. No codex. So I guess we should be able to see the Mages Tower from here. I guess it's foggy today. Oh, we got here death root. Perfect. Now we're gonna go back down where we just were to or through like this. I think to get the wind south. Is that a door? It is a door. It's not a door we can go through. Okay. Let's pick the lock. Aha! Uh -huh. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. We're looking for Quinari sword you bought. You broke into my house for that? Surrender the blade before I lose patience, dwarf. So it's your sword. Farron didn't mention he took it off a live giant. Why don't you give him his sword before this gets ugly? You know, that sounds like a great idea. Now, why don't you take your sword and leave? Because he wants you in the militia. So what? You're recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Your chances out there are better than in here. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. I can't change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. I'll put in a good word for you. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. Fine. I'll throw in with the militia. For now. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? Okay, that's... Did that without any killing. Surprising. Child, I'm looking for the companion, sort of... Sten sword maybe in the heart, hands of Farron the scavenger, Luke Valor. No, no, that's not, that's not true. That's definitely All not right. true. Sten. You called. As you wish. It's not far. Farron does not have his sword. You called. Actually, as you wait wish. a second. I received an item. Quick save. Was that item like Sten's sword? Chastened flat. Okay, let's go to Sten. It's gonna be something you can use. It's not the chastened flat blade. Right, was it a gift that I have to give him now? Like one stand sword, perfect. Strange. I had almost forgotten it. Completion. Are you sure you are a Grey Warden? I think you must be an Ashkari to find a single lost blade in a country at war. I don't know what that is. But you're welcome, Stan. I would thank you for this, if I knew how. And I could deliver a much more satisfying answer to the Arishok's question if the blight were ended. Don't you agree? Hmm. Absolutely. Then lead the way. Yes. Codex updated. If his sword and honor is stored, Sten chose to stay with Alpax and take the battle to the Archdemon. Skill acquired. Okay. Hmm. 
naval tactics. Your rogue allies. Wait, what? I don't think those are anything. I don't think these are for Sten. I think these are just general tactics. Wait, can I click? That's a useful thing to have on your bar. Maybe. Okay. If it works like I think it does. What's that? It's not like... Okay, so the new thing was minor strength. Sten approves. Item received. Would this be Sten's sword? Again, we just gave Sten a really good sword. It's going to be a real shame. Alasa. Here's a sword. Not as good as Starfang. I mean, we're gonna have a quick look to see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, Starfang's just. It's a little bit cooler. We need a new hat for you, Sten. That just doesn't really. go. Okay, we're gonna have a little chat with him. You called. I did. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Never mind. Very well. Discuss Speak something. then. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. Okay, so I think we're kind of done talking to Sten. But, that, that was cool. We found his sword. Now it's time to protect Redcliffe. And next time we will finish preparing for the fight battle against the undead. See you then. Goodbye.